Good morning. Hope you're having a good day. Let's start with a word of prayer, shall we? Father, thank you for your goodness. Thank you for each one of our children and the big person helping them today. Pray that you'll help us as we have class, that everyone will listen, help them to learn, help them to obey. We ask in Jesus' name, amen. Alrighty, let's start with our verses. First verse is Genesis 1.1. 1, 1. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, everybody stand up, say the verse with me, and then we'll sing. Ready? In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. In the beginning, in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Okay, next verse, John 1, 3. All things were made by him. Last week's verse, Ephesians 6, 1. Children, obey your parents in the Lord. For this is right. Okay, everybody sit down. Sit down. Okay, so you stand up when you sing. You ready? You sit down. You ready? Children, obey. Children, obey. Your parents in the Lord. Your parents in the Lord. Children, obey. Children, obey. For this is right. For this is right. Oh, children, obey your parents in the Lord. Children, obey for this is right. Children, obey. Children, obey for this is right. Okay, this week's verse is Ephesians, uh, Ephesians 4.32. Be kind one to another. That's an easy, easy verse. So important. Let's say it three times, okay? Be kind one to another. One more time. Be kind one to another. Easy. Everybody can say this one. Our story, remember we learned about Abram, how he, oh, he wanted a son so badly, and Finally, when he was 100 years old, God gave him a son. Well, his son grew up, and his son got all big. And then God said to him, Abraham, I know you love me. Um, I want you to take your son and offer him as a sacrifice to me, a burnt offering. Now, that meant that he had to kill his son and burn him, like burn him up like a barbecue. Mm. His son was all grown up, all grown up. That he was nice. He was a man by this time. And God said, "I want you to offer your sons a burnt offering." But you know what? Abraham didn't argue. He said, "Okay," because God had made him a promise. What was the promise God made for him? That through this sun, you will have as many children as the stars in the sky and the sands of the sea. Through that sun, you would have lots of children and grandchildren and great-great-grandchildren. If that child died, if that boy died, that couldn't happen. Abraham knew God made a promise. It was true. So God, Abraham knew if he killed his son, like God told him to, God would just bring him back to life. No problem there, because God God made him a promise. So Abraham went and he told Sarah, he said, Sarah, Isaac and I are going to go worship on the mount that God told us, on Mount Moriah. So Abraham went and he took his servants and they went. Now in this picture, they show Isaac as a, as a young boy, but he was not. He was all grown up. He was a man, all grown up. And so they walked along. And when they got to the bottom of the mountain, Abraham talked, turned to his servants and he said, the boy and I are going to go up on the hill to worship God and we will return. Now, he called him a boy, 
because Abraham was 140 years old. His son was 40 years old by this time. He's, to him, it was always his boy. But he told, what did he tell the servants? He said, the boy and I are going to go worship, and we, not I, we will come back. Because he knew if God made a promise, God was going to keep his promise. So Abraham and, and Isaac started walking up the mountain. And as they walked along, Abraham was thinking, and Isaac was, and Isaac had a question for his dad. He said, Dad, I got a question for you. Yes, son. Well, I've got the wood. You have the fire. And you have a knife. Where's the sacrifice? Where's the sacrifice? And Abraham said, Son, God will provide the sacrifice. Okay. See, God had told Abraham, go up on the mountain. He told him exactly what mountain to go to. Go up on Mount Moriah, to, and I will show you where to go. Go up on Mount Moriah and build your altar there. So Abraham and Isaac went up to the exact place God, when they got to the place God said, okay, right here, here it is, make your sacrifice right here. So he took a pile of rocks and he made an altar. He put the wood on top and then you know what he did? said, Isaac, you're going to have to climb up on there. You're going to have to climb up on there. Now, Isaac was a big man by this time, but he had learned something. He learned to obey his dad. He learned to trust his dad. Now, he didn't say, man, my dad's old. He's, maybe he's kind of crazy like old people get. He didn't say that. He obeyed his dad always. He had learned to always obey his dad, always trust his dad, even though he was a big man. And he didn't have to. It's not like his dad could beat him because his dad was old. He obeyed his dad. He said, yes, sir. And he got up on that, he got up on that altar. There he is. Look at that. Like I say, this shows him as a boy, but he was not. He was a big man. He got up on the altar and Abraham picked up his knife. He picked up his knife and he started to bring it down. And all of a sudden, a voice called from heaven, Abraham, stop! Abraham stopped. He said, Abraham, now I know. Now I know that you really do love me. knew that before. Of course God always, God knew. God knows everything. He knows what we think. He knows that Abraham loved him. But see, it wasn't that God needed to find that out. It was Abraham needed to find that out. Abraham needed to learn does he really trust God? And when that voice of Abraham stopped and all of a sudden he heard Meh, meh, meh. And he turned around and looked. <gasps> and there was a big old poppy sheep with its horns. His horns were stuck in a bush. Said, Isaac, Isaac. Oh, do you think Isaac, Isaac was happy? Ah, uh -huh. yeah. I didn't trust his daddy, didn't he? <laughs> and so Abram helped Isaac get up. He got off the altar. And the two of them went. They took the knife and they got the they got the, the big old ram. They got him out of there. And they took him. They put him up on the altar. And they worshipped God. They worshipped God. Thank you, God. Thank you for your promises. Thank you for loving us. Thank you for everything. And then they went back down from the mountain and they went to the servants, just like they said they would, and then they went home. God makes us many promises. Abraham learned to trust God. He learned to obey God, even when he did make sense. What if Abraham, what if Abraham hadn't gone to the right mountain? 
What if he said, well, I'll just do, I'll worship at home. Or I'll, I'll do the bottom of the mountain. Would he have found the lamb? He had to go exactly, do exactly what God told him to do. And when he did, wow. Wow. We need to learn to obey and to trust the same way. Isaac didn't have to obey his daddy if he didn't want to, because he was bigger than his daddy. But what did he do? He loved his daddy. He respected his daddy. He always obeyed his daddy, and he trusted his daddy. And that's what God wants you to do too, doesn't he? He wants you to obey your mama and daddy, to trust them, to do exactly what they say every single time, even when it seems crazy. Our verse last week was, Children, obey your parents in the Lord, for this is right. That's what Abraham did. That's what Isaac did. And because they did that, they saw God do something really, really special for them. Let's say our verse for this week, be ye kind one to another. Okay, we'll say it three times. Be ye kind one to another. Be ye kind one to another. Be ye kind one to another.